Ron Paul, a leading anti-war voice in Congress. We should only go to the war when the people in this country declare the war. Texas Congressman Ron Paul. I'm Ron Paul, a congressman from Texas. I am pleased to be here at the debate because this is a very important debate. But I am convinced that needless and unnecessary wars are a great detriment. They undermine our prosperity and our liberties. They add to our deficits and they consume our welfare. We should take a careful look at our... I suspect you disagree. I do. Tell us why. <laughs> I think... I think the uh, Patriot Act is unpatriotic because it undermines our liberty. I'm concerned as everybody is about the terrorist attack. Timothy McVeigh was a vicious terrorist. He was arrested. Terrorism still on the books internationally and nationally is a criminal, it's a crime, and we should deal with it. We dealt with it rather well with Timothy McVeigh. But what I, the way I really fear it is we have drifted into a condition that we were warned against because our early founders were very clear. They said, don't be willing to sacrifice liberty for security. Today, it seems too easy that our government and our Congresses are so willing to give up our liberties for our security. I have a personal belief that you never have to give up liberty for security. You can still provide security without sacrificing our Bill of Rights. I want a law that says, you try to take out an American city, we're going to stop you. This is like saying that we need a policeman in every house, a camera in every house, because we want to prevent child beating and, and wife beating. You can prevent crimes by becoming a police state. So if you advocate the police state, yes, you can have safety and security, and you might prevent a crime, but the crime then will be against the American people and against our freedoms, and we will throw out so much of what our our revolution was fought for. So don't do it so carelessly. This profiling, who would be profiling? Well, the folks who are most likely to be committing these crimes, if you look at, I mean, obviously, these people, uh, obviously, Muslims would be a, would be someone you look at. Absolutely, those are the folks who are the radical Muslims are the people that that are committing these crimes, as we've uh, by, by and large, as well as younger males. I mean, these are things that, uh, not exclusively, but these are things that you profile to uh, to, to find your best, uh, the most likely candidate. Congressman Paul, it's digging up. What if they look like Timothy McVeigh? You know, he was pretty tough criminal. I think we're using too, too much carelessness in the use of words that we're at war. I don't remember voting on, on a, a declared declaration of war. Oh, war against terrorism. And terrorism is a tactic. It isn't a person. It isn't a people. So th this is a barely careless use of words. What about this? Sacrifice liberties because they're terrorists? You're the judge and the jury? No, they're suspects. And they have changed the, in the in DOD budget, they have changed the wording on the def definition of Al-Qaeda and Taliban. It's anybody associated with organizations, which means almost anybody can be loosely associated. So that makes all Americans vulnerable. And now we know that American citizens are vulnerable to assassination. So I would be very cautious about protecting the rule of law. It will be a sacrifice that you'll be sorry for. Uh, he's a president that has a priority of spending us into bankruptcy, but he's not just spending us into bankruptcy, he's spending the money foolishly. We need to protect America and protect our troops and our military and stop the idea of Obamacare. Okay. That's the best way to save money, not the military. Right. <laughs> Hold on one second, because Ron Paul wants to respond to that point. Well, they're not cutting anything out of anything. All this talk is just talk. Believe me. They're cutting, they're nibbling, they're nibbling away at baseline budgeting, it's automatic increases, there's nothing cut against the military, and the people on the hill are nearly hysterical because they're not going, the budget isn't going up as rapidly as they wanted to. It's a road to disaster, we better wake up. Oh, okay.